eventually lost it and became taken over by the evil forces of the hotel. YouTube and welcome back to Winter Week. So we're on our third day now, and for day three, I'm reviewing The Shining. Yeah, we all know this classic. It's directed by Stanley Kubrick, based on the book by Stephen King of the same name, starring Jack Nicholson, Shelley Duvall, Scatman Crothers, and Danny Lloyd. So <clears throat> we all know the story. Jack Torrance, a writer who's suffering greatly from writer's block takes on a caretaking job at the Overlook Hotel for the winter while it's closed but of course he then becomes consumed by the evil presence at the Overlook and becomes possessed and goes insane and goes on a murderous rampage trying to kill his family whilst Danny he is got this ability that he calls the shining where he can see the dead and he sees those twins and he sees many other spirits and he has a connection with the care with the other caretaker uh, played by what's his name oh that's it dick holleran played by scatman crawfers and you know when he has a feeling that something's not right he goes to the hotel to investigate gets killed and then of course danny he gets running through a maze that jack chases him through and then, in a smart decision, moves backwards in his tracks to fool Jack and to get him lost. Then, of course, we all know he freezes at the end. Then there's that bizarre ending where he's like in a photo that was taken on July 4th in 1920, is it? Either way, the ending is very confusing and there's so many theories that have theorised it. Anyway, that's the essential story. What did I like about this one? Well, I like the soundtrack, you know, that music, that do, 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 do. You know, that, that theme from The Shining. I also thought Jack Nicholson was great playing Jack Torrance, how he was just a calm, civilized person, but then eventually lost it and became taken over by the evil forces of the hotel. Also, Shelley Duvall, she was good in this too, given that she was not treated very kindly on set. And Danny Lloyd, I believe this is his only acting role, I think. Uh, and I thought he was quite a gifted little actor for his age, playing Danny. You know, peddling through the hotel. And of course, there is those weird, bizarre things like that moment in the room where Jack's with that creepy old woman, and that's a bit of a creepy scene. Then there's that bit with the guy dressed as the dog. I don't know what that's about, but you know what? It's horror. It looks disturbing. I guess it's meant to be. And then, of course, there is the whole, you know, the whole winter setting, hence why I'm reviewing this as part of Winter Week. Yeah, the winter setting as well, the coldness where you're isolated and you're cut off from the rest of the world. You know, that's an unknown thought, knowing that, you know, the help is not going to come very quickly, or not at all. Um, I also thought, you know, the story is written. This film is about... Wow, well, there's... It says two hours, the European cut. And... 144 minutes American and 146 minutes Premier. Yeah, it's on for quite some time, but yeah, I don't know which time, which one I've seen, but it does feel like it's a bit of a long time. But I, I, I don't mind that. It, it keeps me entertained. It keeps me going. It keeps me guessing. It keeps me watching. And then there's the whole things with the bar, like seeing Jack slowly losing it. Yeah. Also. We all know that Stephen King hated this version of his book. He hated this adaptation, didn't want anything to do with it, and hated Stanley Kubrick for making it the way he did. But it's gone on to be regarded as a classic in 
Kubrick's filmography. Of course, Stephen King did have involvement with the TV miniseries, which he felt was more truer to his book than this one. And it took a while before we got a sequel, Doctor Sleep, but yeah, maybe I'll review that, maybe I won't, I don't know. But The Shining, I do enjoy this one. I think there are some moments that are confusing and off-putting, but it's like I said, I like it. So I'm going to give this one, I'll give it four icicles out of five. Four icicles out of five for The Shining. So there you go, there is my review for today. Have you seen this one? Let me know what you think down below in the comments, and if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Share with your friends and feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and to hit that notification bell. I've been Randall Ross and this has been Winter Week Day 3. So, I'll see you tomorrow and until then, don't have nightmares.